everyone, it's Nina. Thanks for joining me today for a new tutorial. And I'm very excited to be participating in Heffy Doodle's first birthday celebration. This birthday celebration has a ton of guest artists celebrating the fact that Heffy Doodle has now been around for a whole year, which is hard to believe because I feel like it's been a lot longer than just a single year. Heffy Doodle has so many cute and inspiring images and I'm going to be using their Wingman stamp set along with the unbelievable stencil. So I started off by stamping the birds from the Wingman stamp set onto some Canson Bristol paper and I'm going to color these with Copic markers. I used a few greens for this particular bird. I wanted all these birds to be colored in some tropical color combinations. You can see all of the color combinations that I used for these birds over at my blog. When I was coloring these images, I kept the coloring combinations pretty simple and used only about two shades per image. I did also stamp some feathers and that cute little bird stand. I'm going to be using those in my scene as well. There are coordinating dies that go with these images, which I will be using to cut out the stamped images so I can put them onto my card. Now this parrot is the one that is the most unique out of all the birds that I colored today. And that's because I wanted to incorporate the rainbow color tones on his wings that a parrot typically has. So I used a few shades of Copic markers and very carefully started applying down some color in where the colors would be segregated. Then I went back in with either the same color or a slightly varying shade of that color and went over and blended things out. And that creates these really cool rainbow blends that look just like parrot feathers. You can see I was playing around and testing how I wanted to color this originally on the other parrot that you see on screen. But I ended up liking the combination of doing the wings this way instead. So this is what I went with. So then I set those images aside after cutting them out and I'm working on taking the unbelievable stencil and some Distress Oxide Twisted Citron ink. I'm blending some ink into the stenciled areas so that I get some really cool leaves, which will be the background for my scene that I'm creating. But I wanted to add a little bit more texture to this background, so I'm going to use my Prima watercolors and splatter on some different greens. That's going to help add a little bit of interest and texture to the background. Helps fill things in without having to paint in particular pieces or add in additional leaves. So I used a few shades of green and yellow for that. Next, I went and moved on to stamping the sentiment. This sentiment is a huge greeting, which looks really awesome on an A2 card because this spans the entire width of an A2 card. And that creates this really awesome focal point that stands out beautifully. So I stamped that in some Lucky Ink from Simon's Stamp and fussy cut it so that I had a little bit of an outline around my sentiment. That's also going to make it easier for when I go ahead and pop it up with foam tape. Speaking of foam tape, I did pop up many of my images with some foam tape, including the feathers, the birds, and I also white heat embossed a supporting sentiment from the Wingman stamp set to stick onto a piece of red cardstock underneath of my happy birthday greeting. So once all my images were placed onto my card, I added that onto a Gina K blue card base. And then my final step was to add some embellishing. So I'm going to use some glossy accents and add some glue to the wings of both of my birds. This is going to allow me to take some Prisma Lawn Fawn Glitter and sprinkle that over top of each of the two birds. Now I did originally put that over top of the feathers as well that are on the card, but I ended up not liking that. So I took the feathers off and put some new ones on without the glitter because I wanted the birds to be the one that were all sparkly and shiny. But check out how when that dries, that creates this amazing texture and interest to these birds and gives everything a really fun look. I hope you'll stop on my blog to get more information on the Heffy Doodle first birthday celebration and see more still pictures of this card and all the products used. You can find links to everything down below in the video description. And you can also get over to my blog by clicking the blog logo on screen now. Thanks so much for tuning in. I will be back again very soon with more inspiration for you. And until then, have a great day. Bye.